Hi, my name is Janelle Kinsey, and as you can probably tell by the title of my presentation, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, today I'm going to tell you about my live cast, Vulva Pottery, and the way that it blends art, design, and brand language. So firstly, a little bit about myself. I am a double major, so as well as being an industrial design student, I also am getting my BA in ceramic art. And so for this final project of my senior year, I really wanted to do something that I was passionate about and include the work that I've been putting my heart and soul into, that being this live cast vulva pottery. This presentation is going to be talking about the different aspects of this project and then the way that they correlate, that being art, design, and brand. What is my project? It's functional handmade work that is both a designed object intended for daily use and a bold artistic statement talking on the patriarchy, sexual assault, and body confidence. So firstly, design. Um, we're looking at function, creating value, and a little bit of exploration in different production methods. Creating value. Although these objects are functional, their main appeal is to their emotional value. One of the ways that we create value as designers is by looking at problems and creating solutions. These comments are just a few of the comments I've received on some of my social media accounts um, that include my live cast full of work. As you can see from the comments saying things like they have tumors, don't age well, and are worn out, um, there's clearly an emotional issue that these men and the way that we view vulvas is creating. And so we're looking at a way to connect to an emotional value that this problem has created. Um, these are a few of the more positive comments I've received from women talking about how confident they make them feel, um, how it's very unique. And this is my favorite comment that just says, this made me feel like mine is normal um, because it is normal. These are just body parts. So I wanted to design something that tackles an emotional issue. Um, I did use a few um, of my design skills in 3D printing and CAD in order to try and create some slipcast molds, although that is still something that is in the development process. So it's also an art statement. Um, this is obviously something that is a little bit more artistic. So I wanted to create meaningful and provocative work about women's bodies, emotions, and roles in our world. My goal is to facilitate an important narrative with users, how we view the feminine. This is still something that I consider to be a blend of art and design. Um, these are functional works. So here you can see I'm working on a mug. I have bowls, utensil holders, um, but they're handmade. They're made in small batch productions um, and done with traditional pottery methods. As far as the casting process goes, um, as I'm sure you're a bit curious about how I get live cast vulvas onto my work, um, I use a skin safe material called Algonet plaster bandage, and then I translate them into plaster molds that I'm able to use in my work. So here you can see, um, these are some of the plaster positives that I then turn into molds in order to appeal to this emotional need to feel seen, um, comfortable and normal with your body. So this ties in finally to branding. I created a brand language considered target user demographic, packaging, and finally, a way to facilitate sales. I've only been selling my work for about a year and primarily have been doing that through setting up a booth and vending at the Mesa's farmer market. What I mostly gained from this experience was narrowing down a target user or demographic. By looking at those who have purchased and expressed interest in my work, I have narrowed down my target demographic to be queer identifying, women, feminists, and empowered people or those seeking empowerment. I use that information on my demographic to create a colorway um, and other branding collateral, um, focusing on boldness and feminine colors and creativity. In order to widen my scope and reach to potential customers, I have opened a soft opening of my online shop, which I've actually already seen a little bit of success of um, selling out of just a few items that I have listed. Although I haven't listed many things that are including live cast vulva pottery, I've been sharing a lot of my process and journey through social media and been finding a lot of um, success and drive to my website through namely my TikTok. 
Social media has been a really exciting way for me to build momentum and gain interest. Um, as I am expecting a big shop release end of April, I've set up a subscription mailing list on my website that 166 people have subscribed to anticipating my next shop release. Part of thinking about selling things online includes thinking about how you are going to package and present these. And because this is something that is so collaborative, I really wanted to include statements from the people who were cast. And so I call these vulva vulnerability statements. They're direct quotes from the person whose vulva was cast. I'm gonna shortly share just one of them with you. Having my vulva cast and seeing it on pottery restored my desire to connect with myself and others in new ways. It reminded me that I am capable of creating my own fulfillment and joy in life. I hope you find joy in this piece and see the love and vulnerability that went into its creation. So these packaging notes and von vulva vulnerability statements um, help me tie in these themes um, and emotional connection and emotional value that I create through this work. And so tying in pieces of the women who were cast and including them in this work um, is definitely a huge part of my branding and my language about the products. Thank you so much for uh, taking some time out of your day to listen to me talk about my work. I know it's a little bit different than the normal scope of uh, design projects, but it's something I'm very passionate about and I'm excited to share it with you guys.